Radio Master, you had to go and do it, didn't you? You had to stick the bait in front of me and I have finally bitten. Today, we're going to talk quickly about a new product from Radio Master and that is the AG01 gimbals. And the reason why I'm so interested in these is because this is the bait that has probably got me into the Radio Master net. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what this is all about. So today Radio Master have released the much hinted at AG01 mini gimbals. These are smaller versions of the AG01s that are designed for use with this, the TX16. Now, I actually have tried these AG01 gimbals on a TX16 a couple of weeks ago and I absolutely fell in love with them. And whilst I absolutely wanted them in my life, the barrier for me was this, the radio itself, simply the size of the TX16. For me, I simply find it too large and I prefer smaller radios such as the DJI style or the TBS Mambo. And the Mambo has been my radio of choice for the last 12 months. When the Zorro released, I was extremely interested in that and I was very, very close to ordering one, but it wasn't enough in itself to tip me over the edge. However, combine the Zorro with these new AG01 mini gimbals, and for me, that is the bait that I am going to go for. So the new AG01 Minis are designed to be used with the Zorro and the TX12, and they cost $99 a pair. They are again full CNC gimbals with quad bearings, Hall effect sensor, and the adjustments on the front. They are very similar to the gimbal on the TX16, the original AG01, but there are a couple of little changes on it, including the stick ends as well, and they offer a 54 to 38 degree adjustment range on the vertical. Now, I don't have a set, so I would suggest you check out a couple of reviews on them if you want to go and have a look. I watched Painless 360s earlier. It is worth checking out. I'll actually put a link to Lee's video in the description of mine if you want to see an actual review on it, because he's actually taking them apart on a Zorro and putting them in, so it's worth having a look. For me, though, these are the final straw, and it is going to be time for me to change. And the big question is, do I change to a TX12 or do I go for a Zorro? Now, I've spent a bit of time looking between the two radios, and whilst the TX12 is more a traditional style radio, for me, I think I'm going to go for a Zorro. I'm gonna go for the Express LRS edition. This will finally be the push for me to dump Tracer from all my aircraft, and I'll just put Express LRS or Crossfire in. And what I'm gonna to have to do is get myself a new Crossfire module because the one I've got is a full-size bay rather than the mini module. However, for me, this is enough of a push to get me over because I'll be honest, I have been waiting for this to make the jump. So this is going to be the push that I have needed. Now, what is interesting is we do have a set of gimbals here that cost pretty much the same amount of money as the radio itself. So when you combine them together, you're turning it from a $99 or so purchase up to a $200 purchase. But I'm okay with that because that is what I want. And it is gonna be nice to have what is a high quality feeling radio in a smaller form factor as well. I spent a bit of time looking around the internet trying to see if I can even find one. And I'll be honest, it isn't easy. Stock in the UK is pretty much out. If we look at Hobby RC, it's meant to be $79.99, but it's not in stock. The same again for unmanned aerial tech and your FPV. However, I have found it in stock at Flying Tech, but they're charging £15 more for it. What can I do? I want the radio. I can't get one anywhere else, so I'm gonna end up having to pay it. And whilst they have been out of stock in many places, if you do look around hard enough, hopefully you may be able to find one. I would love it if Radio Master would allow us to review one of these by sending us an Express LRS version of the Zorro and a set of AG ones However, I don't think that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is order the radio in the UK and then order the gimbals from Radio Master. And as always, I'm going to do a review and give you guys my honest thoughts on them. The real interesting one is, is it worth 
the $99 or double cost of the radio upgrade for the gimbals. If I get the radio in the UK, I should get it a bit earlier than the gimbals themselves, so that will allow me to have some stick time on the radio itself before fitting the new AG01 Minis, and that way I can actually share with you my thoughts on if it is worth the substantial upgrade that it is. Now, if you'd like to support us to keep making content like this, please do consider checking out my Patreon. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to every one of the Patreons who does support the channel on a monthly basis. I would not be able to do things like this without your support. I'd also like to thank everyone that uses Buy Me A Coffee as well, who'd like to support us on an individual basis. Again, the money does not go to waste. And again, a massive thank you from me. So Radio Master laid the bait and I got hooked. I'm in the landing net. The question is, will I make it to the keep net?